Last week, I was recovering from an illness that was really impairing my ability to make videos. Once I started feeling better, I did a Mario Kart stream and started to think of potential video ideas. Out of nowhere, I started to remember a few obscure tweaks users can do in order to improve TF2's performance. So this video will be exactly that. Now, most of these tweaks are going to be super tiny and minimal, so users with lower-end machines will probably benefit more than those with mid-tier or higher-end ones. So without any further ado, let's begin. First up, TF2 primarily relies on two things to function properly, CPU and disk speed. The game constantly reads from and writes to your hard drive as you're playing, and having a slow hard drive is a huge bottleneck. If you've also got Windows 10 or have some sort of antivirus installed, your hard drive is constantly being scanned as TF2 updates files. This can be disabled rather easily, with no harm done to your machine. Go into the settings of your antivirus and find exclusions. Next, you'll want to add the folder C, Program Files x86, Steam, App Cache, Stats. TF2 is constantly writing to this folder, so making your antivirus stop its constant checks will improve disk speed and lower CPU usage. Next up, open Control Panel and open Power Options, then change your preferred power plan to high performance. I've seen improvements vary system to system with this one, so it's best to just try it out and see if you notice anything different. This next one is going to be super obvious, but if you're on a laptop, plug it in. That's it. Modern laptops purposely slow themselves down in order to preserve battery life and keep themselves cool, but when you plug the laptop in, it disables this self-bottleneck. You know how after playing TF2 for a while that bullet holes and rocket dust end up everywhere on the map and make it look really ugly? Turns out all of these decals limit performance too. An easy way to gain some performance back is by lowering the decal limit. I set mine at 9, in order to still see the bullet spread from the scattergun and shotguns. The commands MP decals and R decals control the decal limit. Another super obvious one, close programs you're not using while playing TF2. I can't count the number of times people have asked me why the game is running so poorly, yet they have 6,000 Chrome tabs open in the background. This will also free up RAM. A problem my family's computer was running into for years, unbeknownst to all of us in the house, was disk fragmentation. Team Fortress 2 had lots of micro stutters and loaded very slowly as a result of this. Windows is supposed to defragment your disks automatically, but in this case, it was disabled outright. To re-enable disk defragmentation, search for Defragment and Optimize Drives in the search bar. Click on it, then analyze and optimize the drives you're using. If drives aren't being automatically defragmented, enable a schedule for that as well. That's all for now. Thanks for watching the video. If you're interested, I also appeared on Critzcast recently, and I've linked that in the description. Hopefully I can get back to making more videos soon. Peace.